Hello Ed5 family. Glad to bring you yet another episode. My name is Robert Mwando. Today I share a cocktail of insights from personal reflections and partly from John C. Maxwell's book, The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. Specifically, I will relate my reflections to the law of reflection and the law of pain. My reflection is indeed inspired by recent painful memories. The law of reflection in the chronology of Maxwell's book is law number four, and it states, learning to reflect allows growth to catch up with you. Maxwell quoting Peter F. Drucker says, if you follow effective action with quiet reflection, from the quiet reflection will come even more effective action. In the past few days, I have been reflecting about the past one year. 2019 was a year in which, at a personal family level, several unpleasant events happened for me. The experience of losing a dad and in a short spell of time, a breast cancer diagnosis for my wife, among other bad experiences. 31st August 2020 marked exactly one year since she underwent a life-changing surgery, a mastectomy. To apply the law of reflection, I spent time relieving the experience. I have heard the adage severally, experience is the best teacher. But as well put by Dr. Maxwell, evaluated experience is the best teacher. Experience is a very hard teacher because the test is given first and the lesson is given afterward. The lessons are learned only if the person takes time to reflect after the experience. Otherwise, you receive the test first and the lesson may never come. People have innumerable experiences every day and many never learn anything from them because they never take time to pause and reflect. Reflection is what turns experience into insight. It's common that we find it easier to recall the painful experiences more than the good ones. My reflections this week were triggered by the passing of movie star Chadwick Boseman, who succumbed to colon cancer and on the 28th of August 2020. Somehow, it came just a few days to the one-year anniversary of my wife's life-changing surgery due to breast cancer. Clearly, my reflections were activated by painful recollections, and this introduces us to the law of pain. The law of pain states, the good management of bad experiences leads to great growth. Dr. Maxwell, quoting Mac John McDonnell, says, every problem introduces a person to himself. What an insight. Here are some questions to ponder upon. How do you usually respond to bad experiences? Do you explode in anger? Do you shrink into yourself emotionally? Do you detach yourself from the experiences as much as possible? Do you ignore it? Each time we encounter a painful experience, we get to know ourselves a little better. Pain prompts us to face who we are and where we are. What we do with that experience defines who we become. What separates people who thrive from those who merely survive is how they face their problems. I have never known anyone who said, I love problems, but I have known many who have admitted that their greatest gains come in in the middle of their pain. This is also true of me. As a matter of fact, look forward to my book, The Valley of Baca. Everything is turning around for my good. It chronicles the gains that have come in the middle of my pains. Interestingly, everyone goes through 
bad experiences in their lifetime. Nobody gets to escape bad experiences and no one likes them. So rather than whine about yours, join the company of those who have an attitude shift. Here is a defining statement. Few people make bad experiences positive experiences. Our life's experiences, especially the difficult ones, do not allow us to remain the same. They move us. The question is, in which direction will we be moved? Forward or backward? Do bad experiences make you better or bitter? Do they limit you or they lead you to grow? The answer lies in how we respond to them. Those who respond well more than just survive. They thrive. Like the psalmist in chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, those whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditate on his law day and night are like trees planted by the streams of water. They never run dry. They were made for so much more than ordinary lives. They yield fruit in season and they do not wither. Whatever they do prospers. It's time for us to more than just survive. We were made to thrive. Blessings. Thank you.